gallon jug. Ooh, computer science 101 is not going to help me, unfortunately. Saw a steak knife there. Uh, normally I would rip those leather pants up for the leather chunks, but we're going to forbear that for the moment. I don't have the carry capacity to be doing that quite yet. Codeine! Rubber boots. Alright, give me the thick knife. We got another basement. Another pot. Alright, what do we got? Oh, survivor basement! And it is a house kind of tucked off on its own here in this, this corner. Streets, a skate park, and a pond surrounding it. Hmm. Let's go find out if this is Occupado. Yes, it is Occupado. Yeah, smokers, multiple survivors. This is going to be a little rough for me to try to clear right now. <laughs> In my current total non-combat character style. More than I can handle by far. I would love to try to sneak in here and grab some stuff, but if it was just the survivor zombies, I'd do it. But with the smoke zombie in there as well, that's going to be too much, I think. There's going to be some good stuff in here too, right along here where the food is and the tools. There's usually a weapon, which I probably wouldn't use, but uh, there's also usually like a wood axe or a crowbar on the shelf up here. Hmm. And I really want to. Now we're up to three zombies and a smoker. <laughs> oh, now they've heard me. All right, we got a bail. Unfortunately. Dude, you are traveling. Please don't come out of that basement. Please don't come out. He came out of the basement. <laughs> I thought three or four spaces would be enough. Apparently not. Well, it's good I've uh, explored the rest of the house. I guess technically I could do the same thing as I've done before. Draw these guys out and then uh, circle around and head back in and grab my loot. You the only one that managed to get out? He is the only one. And this is not a good corner for me to get stuck in. I think I'm going to have to circle back to here another time. I'm just trying to think through in my head whether I would have a chance of uh, getting in there and try to lure the other ones out while dodging stuff up here, while smoke inhalated, while having no movement bonuses and no combat abilities. <laughs> I think it's just a little too much to try to bite off. So, we are going to bail. Plus, I got zombies trying to come in from other directions. So let's not do that. Let's head back outside. We'll go down to that other house. We'll come back here. Not good. Apparently zombie dog or a different dog is now out. Uh, we were able to circle around okay. There we go, and another basement. Wow, well, we're getting pretty lucky on the number of basements. Mushy yogurt. I'll eat it. Or not. Hmm. 
Hmm. Pretty poor house, unless this basement yields something useful. Well, it's another potential uh, autodog basement, I guess. A little cleaner than the one I left. Tortilla chips. Ooh, granola. Let's have some granola right now. Granola's good. And the tortilla chips. And a cookie. Cool, we're full. Apple cider and some stout, even better. And it's not frozen, so we'll have some stout. Yes. Ah, we threw up all over the place. <laughs> I, I pushed it too far. Nope, no auto dock in this basement. Darn it. That wasn't good for me. Alright, so other than raw materials, nothing down here. Lots of basements to hide in, though. I like that. Gives me tactical flexibility. Uh, I don't know what to call this other than auto dock basement. <laughs> auto dock basement. No auto dock. <laughs> That'll at least remind me what it is. Um, we're gonna have to wait a short bit. See if we can wait off this nausea. Come on, nausea, go away already. Nausea two, it's gonna be with me for a while. Yeah, I shouldn't have pushed that. That was not a good, not not a good thing to do. Well, crap. So this house is not helpful, and I'm worried about what's gonna come at me from the other. Or from the street. Ah, my vision's cut low. Eh, we're gonna wait. I can't deal with hallucinations and nausea <laughs> and stat drop. Too dangerous. Itchy skin, malfunctioning bionic. Alright, hallucinations are done. <laughs> they're done for three spaces, then they're back again. Uh, I gotta push on. I, I can't keep delaying. The longer I wait, the worse things are gonna get. No wheels. Can't drive that thing. Oh, I zeroed my power out. Wasn't watching. Now I'm also cold. Uh, No battery. Can't get it driving immediately, but it's got not too bad stats otherwise. Fault the engine, no alternator. Yeah, that one's pretty bad, I guess. Sure. Oh, this is not good. Um, I don't know. I don't know if Purifier would help this or not. First time I've tried playing with it. It's a brand new trait and first time I've messed around. I'm not sure how we're going to mitigate it. Duct tape. And there's zombies in the house with me. I have no medical supplies yet, so I really... Ooh, milk! Fresh milk! Oh, I need that milk. Alright, we gotta drop the ammonia and trade it for the milk. Poison zombie. Ugh, he's gonna definitely poison me if I try to go back north. There's gotta be a bathroom in this house, though. So unless there must be a door right here into the bathroom right here. Definitely not one up here, so yeah. I'm not sure I'll be able to successfully circle this guy. Might go out the window and around. Probably safer. You know, I don't backtrack my way. Failed on that pry attempt. Gamma Globulin! Alright, you don't know a gamma. Oh crap. <laughs> back to run mode. Back inside. Get a door between me and the Rottweiler. How much space do I have? Not much. Cudgel takes up how much? Two volume. Ouch. Alright, we're just going to leave as is. 3.30. My 
I'm out of power. Malfunctioning a lot. We got some milk. That'll really help us out with our food and thirst. Assuming I don't force myself to eat and get vomity again. I think I better head back. Stop running. Don't burn your stamina. It's especially important with this guy with no bonuses. No, that's exactly what I did not want to meet. Of course, I had to meet it on my way back. Damn it. Arrgh. Alright. Why I like residential neighborhoods. Hopefully it's clear for us to get back to our base. There's our swivel chair. Alright, we got the swivel chair right above the stairs. Hello, zombie dog. Go drop stuff off. We'll try to make a few trips to grab some things. Alright. <laughs> Gamma globulin I'm really excited about because it uh, it's a really big boost to your hidden health stat. So that's going to help me offset that uh, leaky bionic somewhat. Somewhat. <laughs> leaky bionic is still going to vastly overpower it, but it'll slow the progression down a bit at least. Um, let's see. Don't need that with me. Oh, I totally forgot he was going to get back up again. I didn't pulp him. I forgot that. Yeah, they get back up. Hey there, buddy. Uninjured. Totally forgot he was going to get back up again. I get to use him after all. All I got to do is uh, let just remember not to pulp him. And uh, if they kill him, he'll get back up again and be able to be used later. All right, you. I need to, I need to stuff you in that back room that I'm not going to go into very often. Not bothersome at the moment. Let's drop a few more items. Whoops. I didn't pulp the other guys either. Crap. <laughs> uh, please tell me I pulped the uh, really bad ones. <laughs> How are we doing up here? Severely injured, uninjured. Alright, he'll finish that off. Let's take our Gamma Golden. <laughs> Yummy. I feel tough. Hidden health stat. Let's have a puff of cigarette as well. Oh, don't have any nicotine liquid crap. Wrong one. Alright, I'll let him finish playing with that. We'll grab some more stuff. Uh, how much can I grab? Definitely not all of it. Give me that, that. All right, there we go. So, that worked out pretty well. So we came back with some stuff, and uh, we managed to grab our wayward swivel chair that we had loaded up with stuff earlier when we had to run away from the uh, spitter zombie right before we got back to our base. We got those taken care of. We reconnoitered some of the local neighborhood, 
and got a few of the buildings cleared. Um, that one we cleared. Yes, we did. That one we also cleared. Nothing useful, nothing useful. Survivor basement, auto dock basement, but no auto dock. All places I can run to to escape, though, in case. This one also has a downstairs. I think it was the rec basement. Can't remember. But it was also not too useful. Um, let's have something to eat. Let's see, we're hungry and thirsty. We'll go ahead and have cider and another granola. All right, good enough. Four bars on the torso, 4 a.m. Um, so close, so close to wanting to do that removal. Hey, buddy, can you follow me in here, please? Oops, crap, now I gotta lead them all the way back out again. All right, so we got our uh, murder buddy back in the uh, back room. He'll just hang out back there. He's going to make some noise, which is going to be kind of irritating. Um, I'm going to have to turn him loose at some point because I don't have ear protection or ear uh, muffs yet, ear plugs, so he's going to keep waking me up. Um, probably should just turn him loose, honestly. No, they don't shapeshift. I'm not sure what the deal is with him changing which graphic he's using constantly. Alright, get your stamina back. What am I going to do here? Got poor bandages on the torso. So it hasn't changed yet. I'm deathly afraid of trying to I'll remove a CBM with uh, not full health. But I don't have enough food down here to uh, sleep, wake up, then attempt it, get knocked down to low health, and then stick down here. I've got to be able to keep moving around and doing stuff. Ugh, what to do, what to do. I didn't find any drugs to help with the installation and our uninstallation. Failure chance is going to be sitting at about 63% if I do it when I'm not in pain and my intelligence is not down. Won't let me smash that, huh? All right, fine. Be that way. I think I'm going to risk it. I think I'm going to lure my buddy out. I'll go hang out back there. Take the blanket with me. Have some cookies and milk. The risk, I'm gonna try it. 
Hey, murder buddy. You stay out there for a bit. Okay. Ouch. So, here's what we're trying to do. The reason I'm going to attempt this is because of this CBM right here. Leaky Bionic. So, if you're unaware, when you have a Leaky Bionic, this is something that constantly poisons your hidden health stat, your immune system. So, the longer this is in, the lower your health stat gets, the more susceptible you are to lots of various things like uh, catching the various diseases, it also affects how much you heal while you sleep. Um, it just has a lot of secondary effects that aren't immediately obvious, but are very powerful. And the lower, the more negative you go in your hidden health stat, the longer it's going to be for you to recover from it. So it's really, really important to get rid of this thing as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm already going to have to be, deal be dealing with the negative genetic traits that uh, the mutations are going to start hitting me here pretty soon. Um, so I really need to get rid of this one in particular. The other ones are also bad. I need to get rid of them also eventually, but this is the critical one. If I can get rid of this one, I can live through the other ones. Um, but if I've got this one in after a couple of days, our stat, our health stat is going to be so low and we're going to have negative mutations piling on. It's going to get pretty impossible. So it's going to come down to luck, really. Uh, we're going to have a terrible chance to get this out successfully. It's going to be like a 25% chance if I'm lucky, 25 to 30%. So, you'll see here in just a second. It's going to be really, really horrible. And if I fail the installation or the uh, removal, I can damage myself so much, I can flat out kill myself. I think I've dropped enough hit points that death is a possibility. So, this could be just I press a button, we fail the uh, removal, and I die. <laughs> but I think it's worth the risk. I was really, really hoping to get my torso health back up a little further, but the... Fast healing and the bandage is not quite doing it in the time frame I need it to happen in. So, yeah. I need to get the intelligence back up to 12, though. So we're going to take some aspirin. And we're going to take some uh, sensory dulling. Make sure that's gone. All right. Turn the sensory dulling off again temporarily. So there's 12 intelligence. Does it drop automatically when I sensory dull? All right. No, it doesn't. So we're going to turn on sensory dulling. This also allows me to... Uh, install or uninstall without using anesthetic kits. So, useful in that regard. Hey there, Krokama. What's cracking? Well, I'm about to crack my chest open and try to dig out a uh, a broken CBM. <laughs> That's what's cracking. We could end the first attempt at the run right here, which would be a bummer. I kind of like what we got going on so far with this one. Let's see what happens, though. So if I go there and I choose to uninstall, I've got 12 intelligence. That's the highest I can get currently. I haven't found any drugs uh, that are going to help me raise my intelligence. And um, even if I did, it would only improve it by 4% per point. So it's not like it's going to make a massive difference. So if I say uninstall leaky, here's what I'm looking at. 63% chance of severe damage to all body parts. Continue anyway? <laughs> yes, no. Uh, so we're going to say yes. And if I fail, it's going to say, all right, here's the die roll for the percentage. 63%, I'm going to hurt myself. Then it's going to roll for damage. And the high end of the damage is like 83 points of damage. And I'm pretty sure my torso is under that 83 points currently. So if we fail and roll high on the damage roll, we die. <laughs> ah, that's a hard one to answer, Krolkama. <laughs> Let me make this roll first. Maybe I can chat about it while I roll up a new character. <laughs> we'll find out here in a second. All right, everybody. 63% chance of severe damage. Uh, yep, we took massive damage. Look at all that damage. So, we did fail. That's what we uh, ended up with as a result of the failure. So, let's see. You flubbed the removal. Your body is severely damaged. And then we passed out. Blah, blah, blah. And that's what we're left with. So... <laughs> so. Not surprising. I knew it was going to take several attempts. So... We'll go ahead and uh, go do our, our nighttime now. Hopefully we don't get killed by my murder buddy <laughs> trying to get to our bedroom. 
Let's see, we'll close this door. I'm actually gonna smash this stuff up. That way I have more room to maneuver when I drag him into the murder basement here. Hey buddy, where you at? Come here you. Come here you, get over here. I need to lock you in the back room again. Hey, get over here. All right, I'll stop running so you can follow me a little easier. Come on, get in the murder basement. All right, run mode. Ah, damn it. Didn't get it right. He moved just a little bit too quickly for me. All right, try this one more time. He keeps picking the corner instead of going diagonal. Uh, run mode. There we go. All right, now he's locked in. Now the problem's going to be the noise he makes. I may not be able to sleep. I may have to lure him outside and uh, just bid adieu to my murder buddy. Well, yeah, he's been better shaped because he resurrected. <laughs> he revived already. He got uh, boiled down by an acid zombie and finished off by I'm not sure what. And then uh, revivified. So we're going to try to sleep. I'm pretty sure he's going to wake me up, at which point I'm going to have to lead him outside. I just unfortunately won't be able to deal with him. So, get our stamina back. And let's throw a uh, makeshift bandage on a few body parts here. One on the head. And a new one on the torso, I guess. The rest of them should go to max... Pretty sure I'm going to heal to max if I can sleep through the night, but this guy's going to keep interrupting me, I'm pretty sure. No alarm. Ignore. Oh, nope, scratching interrupted me that time. <laughs> Good old itchy bionic. Look at all that man, malfunctioning. And we woke up again. But again, it was the scratching that woke us up. Uh, I don't usually have a choice on what bionics to install, Krolkama. <laughs> it's mostly a, is it worth the, uh, the, the danger and the attempt for whatever I've gotten my hands on. You're always looking for power gen, power storage, and then you start adding on utility stuff after that. You gotta have a way of generating power, you gotta have a way of storing the power, and then after that, probably the most important ones that people hope for is the, uh, Joint torsion ratchet's good for the power gen, and uh, the integrated tool set everybody really hopes to get a hold of. Metabolic interchange is pretty cool, too. But the list is pretty extensive, and it really comes down to just what you happen to get your hands on. Um, so, yeah, so far it hasn't been the noise. It's been the itching. I keep waking up to the itching, which is going to be a problem. I'm not going to be able to heal if I can't sleep, and if it, it's going to get worse as time goes by. Scratching again. Scratching again. Yeah, this is... We're, we're pretty much dead already. Oh, we got some sleep in. Come on, come on, heal, heal. It's already 10 p.m. Uh, I think that's all we're going to get this time. You get up feeling horrible, as if something was messing with your body. Yeah, that's the hidden health stats already tanked into the toilet. So we're already pretty much going to die. Did we mutate at all? Do we have horns? Kind of looks like we've got horns on our head now. Oh, we got uh, thin-skinned. Look at that. Your skin is fragile. Cutting damage is slightly increased for you. So, and we have horns. <laughs> so we did get horns. Hey, horns isn't negative. Horns is green. Green is positive, right? I can make a piercing headbutt attack. What the hell, game? Genetic downward spiral is supposed to be all bad. I got horns, though. Horns is good. Hmm, interesting. Not sure what to make of that. I'm getting so many messages, I have no idea when they occurred. The malfunctioning bionics are just spamming my chat log with so much ridiculous messages. 
Yeah, if the leaky doesn't come out, I'm pretty much done. Uh, I mean, it only takes a day or so, and you're at negative 250 or so health stat, and the stuff you won't be able to heal, and all the other leak, all the other bionics are going to be pretty bad. The combination of the genetic downward spiral and taking something with all these negative bionics is just horrendously difficult. So, hmm. And again, if I fail, which I likely will, we're going to tank our health down and possibly kill me. I didn't even get enough to be confident that I won't kill myself. It is nighttime, though. We could go run around for a short bit again, but it's just going to be a constant downward slope. So where would I go if I did run out and about? Houses up here, apartment complex over there, gun store is not really going to help. There's no doctor's offices real close. I'd be trying to find basically ambulances in the dark. Bookstore is only helpful in the amount that I can get red before I keel over and die. It's, I'd have to find like a... Mid to high level first aid books um, to really improve anything in this situation. Blaster is not a good choice because you give up being able to use that arm for a ton of things and it's really, really inconvenient. You can't even do things like pick up something in two hands, so you can't pick up like a 60 liter tank because you've got a blaster for one arm. <laughs> so. Too big of an inconvenience for the minor amount of protection it might give you. Depends on your game and your playstyle, though. I mean, I wouldn't even consider using it. Other people, feel free. Have fun. <laughs> it's down pretty much all this milk. Uh, and a sandwich. So, if I let some time pass... And don't get hit by anything. By the time we come back from like a night raid, I might have healed enough where I can make another attempt. But I don't think if I if I fail again, I think I'm done. I, I just I'm not gonna be able to recover from being that far down on the hidden health stat. If you don't get it out pretty quickly, it's pretty much over. Um I'm hoping the headbutt works though. The headbutt helps me, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I think I have to go outside on another run. So let's dump the blankets. Don't want the winter gloves. Or the shorts. Or the tank top. Some more makeshift bandages on my head and torso. Um, a little bit more milk, and I think we're out of here. All right, bone slaked. Just trying to think. Yeah, yeah, we we have to go. All right, uh, I'm not going to try to take the swivel chair with me. We've got about 11 liters of space. Zombies out and about. All right, where do we go? Just not that much I'm going to find really useful here immediately in the area. I think I'm going to go straight east through the field, try to get into this apartment. That'll have a bunch of uh, living units that I can s run through real quick for uh, gear, possibly. And then I might jog up to the bookstore and the garage and just hope I come across an ambulance kind of on the way. See what kind of crowd of zombies I get following me here. Hey there, Shady. 
crap, I didn't mean to be running. Can't get away from anything on this guy. So many zombies. Ah, uh, yerg. Whoa. Whoa, so many zombies. <laughs> oh, this is going bad really fast. Well, we made it in the building at least. I got a door between me and them. Got the smartphone. Don't need more pots. Stop giving me pots, please. Um. Screwdriver, I already got. I was hoping for a different tool in there. Oh, big book of first aid. Can't remember what skill level that takes you to. Ah, oh, crap. I locked myself in and I got zombies coming through the window. That is not good. Come on, child zombie. Get in here. Come on, there you go. Meat sandwiches is good. Toastums. Unfortunately, we're already at the front. Ski pants, warmth 70. That's a lot of warmth. Alright, we found no items of use, unfortunately, for medical gear. One okay book. Ooh, army pants that fit. Arrgh, if I wear these things, what are we up to? My legs are at 12 currently because of the leather pants. Cargo shorts. Alright, throw them on. Nothing but soap in the bathroom. Alright, so I got a building I can retreat back through. We got double shock zombies outside next to what kind of vehicle? I can't quite tell. Air in a car, regular car. Alright. So, we're done there. Another apartment complex on the other side of that coffee shop. If I'm brave enough to go all the way over there. Electronic store. I think I'm going to stick with the plan, though. We'll go diagonal. We'll go north along the road. See if we can lock into an ambulance. And then check out the bookstore if we're able to. And then the garage. What am I up to for carry capacity? Still got about nine. Got the big book and some food items. That's it. Hmm... And night raiding without some kind of speed boost is tough. Oh, it's one of the pristine security vans. Oh man, things might have just changed. So, jewelry stores have a chance of spawning security vans out front or back. And then there's a chance that they will be absolute 100% condition, which is what we just found. Which is normally super mega awesome. <laughs> but given my current situation... It's a little less super mega awesome, given that we're buried in the middle of the city, backed on one side by the river. So I don't have too many directions I can go. 
I'd have to drive this thing basically out of the city. And if I just leave it right now, it's likely to get torn apart by the zombies. Hmm. Hmm. I really can't afford to leave this here. Ideally, I get in, get it started, whip around and go straight north and just leave it, park it somewhere up here out in the field somewhere where random zombies won't come across it. Then I run down this way to get out of reality bubble range and work my way all the way back south to our, ba our base. <laughs> So, cause yeah, what we're looking at is, uh, what, almost 20 liters of gas, plenty of battery to start it, and it's 100% green. Every single thing in it is perfectly green condition. Awesome, awesome, awesome starter vehicle. This is one of the ones I look for really, really hard. So, going to take some damage trying to get it out of here in the dark, though, which is going to suck, assuming I can even manage it. Uh, theoretically, depending on what I see, if I hop in, turn the lights on, and try to spin around, might have an opening right here. Now eh, these buildings are back to back on this intersection. Yeah, straight north would pretty much be the the option. I think I gotta try it. I got plenty of daylight night or uh, night light. Run mode. Get her started. Can I get moving and turn before these guys bang this thing up too much? Headlights on, please. All right, please be nothing right immediately in front of me. So many zombies. All right, definitely gotta go this way. Gotta get speed up before I Lose my momentum and get stopped. Ugh, so much damage I didn't want to have happen. There's a SWAT vehicle right there. Take note of that one. There's a fire truck over here. Take note of that one. That one's going to be super important also. Alright, RVs. Lost both mirrors by now, I think. There's my beloved Humvee. Hey there, Humvee. You have... Oh, it's got wheels. Yep, it's got its wheels. Can't quite see the driver's position for the seat, and I can't see the engine block. Uh, can I afford to turn towards it? I can't quite... Turn towards it enough. Alright, where's the cursor? There it is. Uh, no, no controls. Alright, can't drive that. Alright, we're getting close to the end of that block. Trying to make up my mind, do I park it in the field and leave it for now, or do I try to drive it all the way back down? I gotta park it and leave it. I, I can't drive that thing back. How much damage have we taken so far? And we ripped off the mirrors, but almost no damage to the front end. So, I also love it because it's heavy-duty frame with steel plating, so... That means you can run over a bunch of stuff like I just did, and all we did was lose the wing mirrors. And do a tiny amount of plating damage, which is awesome. Such a such a good first find for a vehicle. Alright, we are out and about in the fields. Now we just need to not run over a landmine. That would be ideal. Visibility. Airdrop crates. Oh, airdrop crates. Yeah, please tell me there's nothing real close following me. Let me get some free airdrop crates. Headlights off. Let go of the controls. Leave it running. 
Backpack. Couple of MREs. I don't care about smoke bombs. And some grenades. All right. We'll tag them. Cool stuff. Note. Sec van. And we will also remember vehicle position. I think I'll just leave it right here. Stop driving. All right, so it's quiet now. It's far enough out, shouldn't get bothered by anything. Uh, it's where I can easily get to it if I can just work my way north out of the town area here. Should still have, yep, plenty of uh, power and gas, no damage to it, so. Hey there, worm. All right, we're gonna get chased by a worm, but it's not gonna bug the vehicle. Stop running. Now, I just got to manage to get back to my base safely. <laughs> That's uh, in no way going to be a simple process. Alright, now my plan is house, garage, house, house, and then we're back to our block. I'll wait here for a second. We're at zero power again. Crap, I didn't know I had that on the whole time. That was not good play. How much can I furnace withered plants for? Two? <laughs> Two is not helpful. I'm probably freezing out here. Yep. My speed is dropping because I'm getting super cold. I need to get inside real soon. How close are we? Pretty close. Wow, we actually succeeded at uh, prying. Um, dare I smash things up? I think I dare. I need the power. All right, indoors, our hands are cold. We'll, we'll put up with that. Mm. Really starting to load up on... Ah, multiple shadies and cocaine. <laughs> Big old pile of people. Bag of cinnamon. Can't get into that bedroom without making more noise. Don't care. Don't care. Alright, so this house was pretty much a bust. Shrieker. Me alone, Shrieker. Now, right, made it in the garage. Mm. Nothing in the lockers. Wow. All right. One of the fancy garages with multiple bays. Oh crap! Why there have to be a Rottweiler in here? I want to go this way. There's a Rottweiler. Bike and nothing. So all I got is my chances right here. Car horn. Come on. You get all excited about an item and it's a car horn. Air jack. Arr, it's going to be too heavy. 
43 pounds, 8 liters. Could grab it. I think I'm going to note it's here. I already know where the security van's at, so we'll just note that there's an air jack here. We got one more spot to check. Unfortunately, we got nothing useful. Alright. So, air jack, and that's it. Next up, I think directly across the street, if I can get to it. Good old itchy skin, malfunctioning bionic. Let's, um... I'm going to climb the control for a little bit again. Speed is dropping regularly here. Alright, made it next door. Seeds we can have now. Shady coming to get me. Fanny pack, huh? More duct tape. Under the hood, that's a good find. <laughs> More Bologna. And that's it for this house. Pull out the far window. Transition over. Yay, good lighter. saw that zombie. I saw you hiding there. Come on, get in here. Sandwiches, fruit, and then nothing. I missed one room. That's going to be the bathroom. Cargo truck. What time is it? One o'clock. Our house is straight south. Right down there. So we're only actually like a block and a half away from home. So I'm debating, do I keep searching up here? I think until something gets right on top of me, I'm going to try. Spitter zombie. Be nice if you stayed in the back of that cargo space, but looks like you're not going to. Coming to get me. Oh crap. We out. This could be bad if that's that spitter. Loaded in the shady. Run, please. Another basement. I haven't come across a spider basement yet. This is just a standard wreck basement. Ooh, maple pies. We'll take maple pies. Alright. Little entertainment magazine. Nothing else. All right, let's get our stamina back right after we close the windows.
Ah, disinfectant. All right, we got one of the critical things. Now I can uh, not worry so much about any incidental bites. So pain and bites are no longer a concern. That's good. Disinfectant was probably the most important thing for me to find, so I don't need a first aid kit other than it'll give me the regular bandages. But uh, you never need uh, antibiotics if you never get bit or you uh, always take care of the bites right away. Yet another basement. Uh, it's going to be a grow basement. I don't have a flashlight yet either. Uh, let's activate the smartphone. Man, it doesn't really help. Too low range. Empty basement. And there's a flashlight. Asking ye shall receive. Cataclysm is a generous benefactor. Itchy skin, malfunctioning bionic. Um, yeah, we're done up here. Across the street. Oh, ropes. Yay. I don't know what it is with these ropes that are just appear on the street like this nowadays. Not sure what's generating those, but I'm seeing them fairly commonly. Skeleton. Let's try to avoid him. Many pots, not enough foods. Now we're hallucinating again. Pixelated vision. Big book first aid again. Already got one of those, thanks. And shady zombie spotted me. Alright, we're done with this house anyway. Out we go window on this side. Another basement. Man. I'm waiting for the spider basement to show up. Oh, somebody's down here with me. Who's down here? Good old pot basement. There's the first aid kit. All right, now we're pretty well settled for all of our medical gear. Um, how are my bandages doing? Bandage poor, poor. Hmm. Let's activate the first aid kit. And I do not need first aid instruction book. Saline solution. So I've got a pretty good amount of carry space. Keep everything else for now. But let's put some better bandages on. Bandage, head, bandage, torso. Every single house has got a pot. Yeah, looks like all we got out of this one was the first aid kit. Now I need to back to the house on this side. Nicotine gum will actually be handy. Shopping basket, other sewing kits. Shopping basket's got really good uh, carry capacity if you can deal with the encumbrance of 50 on your arm and hand. 25 storage is pretty good. It's pretty much next to a duffel bag. Mm, no thanks. No oh, thanks. Something's in here with me. Mm, 
marbles. Do I want to go with the sling again? I might actually. Given how non-combat oriented this guy is, I need some kind of range damage. That is it. Alright, another one down. Now I need to go south. We better start heading home probably. What time is it? Yeah, 2 a.m. So south to this house, diagonally to that one, to that one, and then down to our block, I think. It's the route we're going to go. Hey there, Shady. Bleach, saline. Whoops. Hey there, other Shady. Pop me in my mouth. <laughs> I didn't want to get grabbed. One of those goofy houses. Another basement! Spider basement! Finally! <laughs> Do I dare check what kind of spiders? Giant cellar spiders! We are out of here. Gotta hate those things. GCS basement. Another shady zombie hanging out in here. Smoke zombie outside. Alright, so we need to go out this way. They're being mean to some vehicle. <laughs> I'll try to find a side door. Cool, perfect. Man! Not sure why it's not letting me pry it. Did we win the basement lottery? We got a gunsmith basement. Hmm. A bunsmith basement. Now it's going to be a question of is it uh, a habited gunsmith basement? Hopefully the answer is no. There's our hacksaw. Uh, sure, I guess we'll take that. Looks like we got a an empty one. No weapons. <laughs> that's funny. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a gunsmith basement with not a single weapon. Got some ammo, but it's got not one single gun. That's pretty hilarious. A cheek pad? I don't think I've ever seen a cheek pad either. Stock accessory for sniper rifles and even DMRs. Considerably improving eye relief efficiency. Approves, prevents slipping and reduces recoil to the neck and cheek. Okay. Dispersion modifier minus one. Handling plus two. Used on a rifle. Stock location. Hmm. Not going to even try to use do the uh, the safe. Alright, otherwise it's done. Now we've got to make a bit of a run to get to this next one. That one is good. Alright, while we've got a uh, nice quiet spot, I'm going to take a quick break. We're about three hours in. I haven't taken a break yet. Let me do that. I'll be gone just a few minutes. Here's where we're at currently on the map. So we're making our way back home. We've had quite the uh, quite the night journey. So we started here, came uh, down, across, out, found the van right outside the jewelry store, the back of the jewelry store here, loaded up into it real fast, drove over a bunch of zombies straight north, parked it way up here, then worked our way back down on foot, then across this way, up and down, <laughs> and now we're here. And we're heading back home after this, so... And again, this is all night raiding with no benefits other than uh, nine, uh, nine base perception. I'm currently hallucinating, so it's dropped significantly. But nine base perception and night vision. No movement bonuses, No none of that rollerblading, fast fleet foot, road runner, all that other stuff. So, can be done. Just got to be careful and knowledgeable about it.
But here's character sheet. I'll be back here in just a few minutes.